everybody, my name is Tatiana Jefferson and I'm doing lab exercise five um, for AMP1 lab. This here is the cranial cavity. This is the thoracic cavity here. This is the ventral cavity. It feels like October 12th cavity. every day. So I've been, it's been October 12th going on 365 days for me. Yeah. I, I, w I wake up at two in the morning. And I'm up from two in the morning till, till morning. It's like, it's like, it's like I'm, li I'm, I'm constantly reliving it. It's a, it's indescribable. It is definitely not normal. If, if we were to say anything to be normal. Um, it's like we, we, we lost a piece of us that we wasn't expecting to lose. So we're kind of trying to figure out how to live without it. But it's hard because you don't want to face that fact. And in my personal opinion, I won't be able to move forward until justice is done. Accountability for my sister's life is the justice that I'm seeking. Um, reform in how uh, police um, answer non-emergency calls. That's um, justice to me. You know, those are two. Those are the extremely main things that I'm really focused on right now. We have to make a standard. She has to be the standard of what we will not do. Every time something like that happens. It's like a repeat for us. We, 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 we removed that new person that got shot and we put a Tatiana in that person's place. So we start all over again. We are learning to face that, that this is gonna be a battle with everything that we're about to do. But in the end of every battle that we've faced, we've always come out with more knowledge, more love, more, um, ability to give to others. We did um, start our own non nonprofit foundation under her name. Um, it's called the Tatiana Project. But it's gonna focus on um, STEM opportunities for urban communities. We wanted, our goal is to bring STEM to our neighborhoods, neighborhoods that we grew up in and neighborhoods that look like where we grew up in. Um, and turning my mom's home into a gaming center is one of the first steps that we want to do because we want to have a place for the kids in that area to be able to come and game and be safe. To have a section of Interstate 35 memorialized in a top name. I want her remembered and I want, you to, I want them to also remember that they have police departments in their city and in their states and they should think about how they're policed in their city and in their states. So as they come through here, it's something to take back home with you. I know she would have, I definitely know she'll be, she's, she's looking down on us and happy that we're doing this in her honor.